Okay, so we've covered static variables and static methods, and now we're on to static classes. So a static class contains only static members, so that means all your methods and variables must be static. And a big thing about it is you can't make an object from it, so you can't instantiate this class. And as a result, it can't contain constructors because, as you know, a constructor is called when you create a new object. So that doesn't happen with static classes. And I just have a bit of a code demo just to show you a static class being created. So again, you should be able to do this too because I've included the slides in Moodle and just to copy and we just go into Visual Studio. Um, and outside this, we can put in our class, our static class. So in here, we'll set, we'll call it. So just to show you that you can't create an object from it, class A equals new. So we should get an error with this. If I just save it, and you do, and of course Visual Studio will tell you the reason, cannot create an instance of the static class just to show you that again. Okay, so it's not possible. So how do I access that method? Well, literally, you do it just like all the other static methods and variables we were talking about. You use the class name and dot do work. Whoops. I'll just save that and you can see it all works. So if I was to get that to run, we'll just do a console dot and there you can see it. Um, so when I call that method, it prints out class A doing work, which is what it did. And then I just use console read just to keep the console up on the desktop. So, I suppose the next thing is, well, where, where would you use a static class? So you can use static classes when you don't want to create objects from the class. You really just want to use the methods. And I'll just give you an example, would be, say, um, an architecture program where you would like a static class to hold all your mathematical methods, which you would probably use again and again in each object. But you don't want to repeat the code, so you put in a special static class, and you can see there I've drawn it as a square to show you um, an object has not been created from it. It's just a static class, and it could contain methods that you would use a lot in your program such as calculate area or calculate volume or calculate cost of something or other. So that's just an example of where you might want to create a static class in a program. Okay, so we have covered in our last few videos static variables, static methods and static classes. Okay, thank you.